Hey, what's up everybody? It's Bobby93 Macboy. Just a real quick video for you guys today. Today I'm going to be doing a Final Cut Pro 4 tutorial for you guys today. I think it's 4. Well, whatever it is. It's the most recent version of Final Cut Pro. The one that just came out recently. But you can also do this in the previous version of Final Cut Pro. You won't be able to do this if you have Final Cut Express because I don't think you have the color corrector 3-way in Final Cut Express. But, um you will have it in pro so the effect I'm going to be showing you guys how to do today is called the Pleasantville effect and now what that effect is is where you take everything in the scene and you make it black and white except for one specific color now if you see the video I have right here for you guys in the canvas it, as you guys see my shirt is the only colored thing in the entire picture and everything else is black and white so this is the end product and I'm going to show you guys how to do this here you go as you guys see, my shirt is blue, but everything else is black and white. So there you guys have it. That is the end product of um, this effect. So I'm going to delete this clip and then start from scratch and show you guys how to do this. So what you're going to do is you're going to record something in iMovie or whatever clip you're planning on using and then uh, import it into Final Cut Pro. I just recorded this with the iSight camera in iMovie 09 and imported it and uh, I set my in and out points which you do by playing the clip as you guys I, see my shirt is blue but everything else is black and white so that is what I'm gonna be using for this tutorial sorry if there's like a beeping noise I'm not really sure why it's doing that right now but and I know it gets really aggravating so you guys are just gonna have to bear with me it did it when I recorded this clip and I'm not sure if it's gonna be doing it while you're listening to this right now and I really hope it doesn't but if it does I'm sorry so now that you guys have set your in and out point take your clip um, and insert it into the timeline now you're gonna render this Whoops, sorry, you have to click on it and then render it. And now it's gonna, this takes a while, but if you have a more powerful computer than I do, it should go by pretty quickly. So after it renders, you're going to, if you guys want to keep the audio in your clip, then that's fine. Or if you want to delete the audio, audio and just do this with a video, I'll show you guys how to do both of those. But I'm going to keep the audio for this clip. So what you're going to do is say I want to I only want to edit the video and not the audio. So how I how I select only the video not the audio is I click the little lock button next to both the audios and then um select the video selection or if you guys want to delete the audio you just lock this and then unlock the two audios and delete that however you guys want to do it but I'm going to be editing the um, video portion so once you have your clip selected try to like put uh, put the um, cursor or whatever where, where uh, you can see most of the color that you want to select then go up to the effects tab go down to video filters and then go down to color correction and then select color collector three-way now um, that will add the effect and, I, and as you guys see right here in my viewer uh, there's a little tab right up here that says color collector color corrector three-way now the easiest way to do this is to take this and drag it out of the uh, viewer and have it on top now when you open this you can pretty much ignore pretty much all of this, but there's one part that uh, you might not see or you might think that you have the wrong version of Final Cut. There's this little drop down arrow right here in the very bottom left corner, if you guys can see that, and that will drop this whole thing down and it opens up the limit effect and now it has uh, all these different little bar, color bars and stuff like that. You really don't have to pay attention to that. All you have to do is make sure that Luma is not selected or saturation is not selected. And now what you're going to do is once you have your video clip right here and your color corrector three-way right here, select the little eyedropper right here. So click that once and then select probably the brightest part of the blue. Now click on that. Um, so as you guys see there are different shades of blue in this picture because of the lighting I have so what you're gonna want to do to add more um, colors of blue to this limit effect as you guys see the little triangle right here it's selecting the shade of blue that I just selected with the eyedropper to add more to that you're gonna hold down shift and click on the uh, eyedropper again and make sure you're still holding down shift while you're clicking on it and as you guys see there's a little plus arrow or a little plus button or whatever next to the 
uh, eyedropper and then select a different part of the blue and maybe do this about three times and try to get different shades of blue each time. Make sure you're holding down shift so you guys see it's dark right here. Now that you've done that about three times, you want to see what you've done. Now you're going to take this saturation tool. You don't need to hold anything down. I'm going to get rid of Luma and saturation right here. Take this saturation tool and drag it all the way to the left. And as you guys see, all the um, most of the blue is black now and everything else is colored. Um, but as you guys see, there are a couple little speckles of blue all along this entire thing. And so to try to get rid of those, you're going to go up here to this little drop down arrow and go to zoom in 400%. And then use these little things to get to selections of the blue that you want to do. And once again, just hold down shift, click on the eyedropper, and then try to click on the parts of blue. As you guys see, that eliminated a lot of this little side blue. Um, let's see what else. That's about good. That's good enough for this demonstration. So once you're done with that, then click on this and click fit to window. And then there it is. So that's pretty much completely blacked out, as you guys see. Now, uh, the point of this effect is to make the part that's blacked out the only color part and everything else black and white. So this button right down here that kind of looks like a trapezoid, this is the invert selection. And what this will do is it will flip all the effects, so make this colored and everything else black and white. And as you guys see, the part I selected is blue and everything else is black and white. Now you can just X out of this window, go to Sequence, Render All. And now it's going to render your video clip. This does take just as long as it did the first time because I didn't edit a little. I just edited the, I edited the entire video clip. Sorry, I can't talk today. Uh, I really hope there's not that beeping noise right now because I know most of you guys got really fed up with that last time I did that. Or last time my, one of my videos made that beeping noise. Almost done. And we're good. We go to the front of the clip, and there you go. As you guys see, my shirt is blue, but everything else is black and white. So there you guys go. That is how you do the Pleasantville effect for in Final Cut Pro. You can do this on the most recent version of Final Cut Pro. The previous version, I'm pretty sure you can do it even in the version of Final Cut Pro before that. All you have to have is Color Corrector 3-Way, which I know Final Cut Express unfortunately does not. So sorry for all you Final Cut Express users. But if you guys want to get Final Cut Pro for free, um, Go check out another YouTuber named Macintosh Hacker, and I'll put his link in the description. It's actually really, he did a really good video getting you just the Final Cut Pro video editor, but not all the rest of the suite. And he said he's going to be adding all the different parts to it um, as time goes by. But he did come out with a video showing you how to get full functional Final Cut Pro with Color Corrector 3-Way and all the other effects and new things that come with it in the most recent version. Go check out his video. It doesn't take that long to download, and it's not that big of a file because it is only the Final Cut Pro. It doesn't. It also comes with Cinema Tools and Compressor, which is pretty cool. So go check out his video. I'll put the link to his channel in the. I'll put the link to that video in the chan in my in the description. This is Bobby93 Math Boy. If you guys like my videos and tutorials, make sure you rate, comment, and subscribe. Please let me know how I'm doing, you guys. I need some support. And make sure you're rating five stars for everybody who has a YouTube channel. It's not that hard. Just click the little five button. Even if you don't if you're not subscribed to me and you have a YouTube, if you're just looking at this tutorial for help, make sure you rate and comment. And if you want more good tutorials like this, make sure you subscribe because lots of good stuff is coming out. Uh New videos are going to be coming very a lot more frequently. I need to step it up in order to give you guys what you deserve. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.